everyone, I'm Fan Wizard with another MCS3 episode. Today we're on Valley Side University and I'm using a new resource pack. This is Prez HD's resource pack. Um, it's pretty cool as you can see. Uh, I'll leave a link to it in the description if you want to go download it. It's a Faithful 64 edit, uh, which I personally find to be very appealing, especially to the eye. Uh, it's really vibrant as you can see. Like the grass, I, I, like the grass is one of the best things in the pack in my opinion. It's just so, so beautiful and so nice. Somebody already took this I believe, yep. Um, see, so yeah, it'll be in the description for those of you who do want it. Um, it's an awesome pack, and I, and, you know, just, you know, if you want it, once again, it's in the description, I'll leave a link to the video. Um, but anyway, how was everybody's Monday? I'm curious to know, because, like, winter break ended not too long ago, at least for most people. Uh, so, you know, most people already came back from school today, uh, for those of you mostly in the U.S. I don't necessarily know if other countries have, uh, winter breaks like us, uh, and if they do, I don't know if they're the exact same dates, but if you went back to school today, I would really like to know how did it go, like, uh, I know a lot of people didn't get enough sleep, uh, which is common, especially coming after a break like that. Um, it's hard to get used to going back to school again when you're staying up to, like, 5 a.m. each day. Um, you know, personally for me, like, it was actually... It was actually a decent day, uh, you know, going back to school is always something I d don't particularly enjoy, but, you know, school is school, there's nothing you can really do about it, I guess. Uh, it'll be there for, like, your whole life until you graduate, so. Um, yeah, once again, how was your school? Comment down below. Or, <laughs> how was your Monday? Um, I'm curious to know. Uh, so, yeah, I I'm actually getting a lot of sleep, which is good because it contributes to my New Year's resolution of being more productive, and obviously, if you want to be more productive, then you probably want to get... Um, the the sleep that you need, the required sleep, most of the time, it's eight hours. Uh, I don't know, some people sleep more than eight hours, and if you sleep more than eight hours each day, honestly, congratulations to you, because that is a serious accomplishment, um, especially when you're, like, at this part of school, where it's, like, the middle part of school, uh, it's, things start, start to get a little bit more harder um, in this particular uh, time of school, I don't know. At least for me, I don't know if that's for everybody here, but... All I know is, um, you should probably get more sleep <laughs> if you can. Uh, I know a lot of people, a lot of people need to stay up late doing homework, but I, I guess that's kind of unavoidable at times, depending on how much you get. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna stop rambling about this and go on to the topic of today, which is comparing yourself to others. Um, that this is gonna be sort of a hard topic to go through because, uh, well, it's kind of interesting. Um. I'm going to go to my own thoughts on this and why I think it's a bad idea and, you know, th certain alternatives that you could do if you're trying to improve your channel. Uh, so, first of all, I got this idea from an incident that happened not too long ago. Uh, my friend, I was talking to my friend. I'm not going to mention any names simply for privacy reasons and um, just to not have this be publicized and, you know, have my friend uh, being asked certain questions. I don't know. But I was talking to my friend. Um, he was feeling kind of sad at the time, and, you know, I asked him why. Dad, please. Oh, oh I know this guy. Oh, crap. All right, well, I guess I'll let him run away for now. Whatever. Uh, ooh, there's another guy right here, too, but... I was talking to him. He was feeling kind of sad. I asked him, hey, buddy, why, why are you feeling sad? And, oh, my God, I'm getting gangbanged right now. So, he, I asked him why he was feeling sad. He replied to me that he just he was just thinking his videos are really crap because he was looking at other YouTubers' videos and seeing how good they were and then looking back at his videos and, and thinking that they were total crap. Now, the guy that I was talking to, he actually has really good videos in my opinion. Like, he's a really underrated YouTuber who is actually kind of good. And, um... So, you know, obviously, if you're a good YouTuber and you think that your videos are crap... Uh, you genuinely think that your videos that you're not doing good in your videos, then obviously something is wrong. And in this case, what was wrong? He was comparing yourself to other people, and um, this a lot of times comparing yourself to others will bring your self-esteem down. And when your self-esteem goes down, a lot of the times it'll make you want to quit YouTube. I guarantee you that. So, you know, first of all, um, comparing yourself to others, it's gonna put this image in your head. Of a certain person that you may want to be, but you're not necessarily destined to be that person, or you don't necessarily, uh, your personalities don't really match, and you're not the kind of person that would do those things, or the kind of person that would act like that. Um, so l let me put this in an example. Like, let's just say you're a really funny person in real life. Uh, you make a lot of jokes. You're like the class clown. Everybody thinks you're funny. Uh, then you try doing YouTube and. Um, you you start feeling bad and I don't know you go find another person's videos like a, like let's say a topic commentator, um, 
you look at their videos and then you think to yourself, wow, I need to start being more serious in my videos because I'm, I'm joking way too often. This is not good. Uh, this is a common, a pretty common uh, thing in my opinion, that happens, and I see it quite a lot, <laughs> and, you know, the, the vice versa, I guess, too, uh, you can be a really serious guy, and then look at other people's funny videos, and think, wow, okay, this person's really funny, and I'm really serious, I should start being more funny, um, a lot of the times, if you're a serious topic commentator, being funny, and, you know, making good gameplay commentaries, and being, just overall being a, a kind of hilarious guy, uh, that doesn't really work out too well, uh, so by comparing yourself to other people, um, sometimes, oftentimes, you're going to find a lot of stuff that just doesn't fit your personality, doesn't doesn't fit who you are as a person, and won't help you at all when it comes to uh, improving your YouTube channel. If anything, it'll just make it worse, make your situation worse than it already is um, if you're thinking that it's bad, that your YouTube channel is bad. Um, so yeah, I, I think you guys get the point right here. By comparing yourself to other people, you're gonna think of yourself um, incorrectly. You're gonna, you're gonna think that you're doing something wrong when a lot of the times what you're doing wrong or what you think you're doing wrong is exactly what makes you the YouTuber you are. It's exactly what's gonna get you far in YouTube because in YouTube, if you try to copy somebody else and try to be something that you're not, um, you won't end up getting far at all, you know? You, the way that you'll end up getting far is by being yourself and doing what you, what fits best to you. So if you're a funny guy, obviously stick with funny stuff. Or not necessarily funny stuff, but just, you know, just being kind of, kind of jokeful about things every once in a while. And if you're a serious topic commentator, then you're just sticking to that as the best. And, you know, th this is a, there's also a different type of situation. Like, let's say you're a topic commentator and you see another topic commentator's videos and you think, oh, God, this guy's so much better than me. Just because somebody may seem like he's more fluent. Oh, my God. Uh, I'm so dead. Yep. Rip Papa John's. Oh, my God. Uh, just because somebody's more popular than you or uh, you think he's more fluent than you when it comes to uh, talking about certain sentences and, and certain subjects, it doesn't mean that you're always worse than him. Sometimes people might enjoy your uh, your silly or your just um <laughs> I don't know your your I don't know I don't know how to put this but sometimes what you think is a mistake what you think is a flaw in your YouTube channel is really what makes it better so when you compare yourself to others and you think oh wow I'm doing something wrong a lot of the times you may be completely wrong about that so sometimes when you wanna if if you wanna figure out on something that you wanna do better. Um, I'm, in my opinion, I think you need to take things slowly. Like, if you want to make certain changes, you can't suddenly go from being a funny guy to being a serious topic commentator. Um, if, if you want to do that, in my opinion, you have to do gradual changes. Like, if you want to add a new series, uh, then you're not going to win. Well, wow, thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Wash-ish with a freaking Benja Canadian skin. Um, just stop. You know, screw, screw off. I, I don't care about you. I'm, I'm end up winning this game, and... <laughs> You'll see. Um, I don't know. I, I probably won't, to be honest. Uh, but it's worth a try, honestly. So, you know, what I'm trying to get to here, once again, just be yourself. That That's truly the key to being su successful on YouTube. Not, not trying to copy off somebody else. Not trying to see what you're doing wrong. You know, what you're going to do wrong, you're going to find that out by, by your fan base. Your fan base is going to tell you what you're doing wrong and... More, or most of the time, they're going to do that, I, I hope. Um, they're going to be the ones that you're eventually going to have to take advice from. Not who you think you want to be, but what people really think you're, um, you are as a person. So, you know, well... Also, also, what you think you want to be like? If you want to be, if you want to be a funny guy, I guess go for it. Uh, but in the end, it's always better to stick to what you think, wh what you really are. So, whew, I'm actually really tired. My throat kind of hurts from talking so loud. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> I want to team with this guy. Team, 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 team. No, I don't. Oh my god. What did people like this honestly make me want to like just die? Honestly, not die. I'm not actually being for real and I want to die because of a video game but all right I, I think I'm going to team with this guy honestly I think it's the smart idea or smart thing to do right now so hopefully my teammate goes attacks him attacks him first because I don't want to be the first one to attack him and then be the one to die uh, I don't have any more arrows though so I'll just be chilling here watching these two guys fight all right I, I want to make this guy know that we're teaming all right yeah, he, he knows we're teaming we're good we're good and can I craft anything? I can craft a butter sword. Might as well, right? 
butter sword. There we go. We're good. We 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 got a secure win right here. Um, all right, we're gonna go together as a team, buddy. Don't run away. This is not gonna work out. Oh crap. All right, but anyway, um, once again, I'm gonna be live streaming next weekend. So if you wanna tune in, I'll have a video uploaded of whenever the stream uh, goes online. So yeah, if you're waiting, if you're waiting to see some uh, MCSGB live stream and some possible CS:GO, then be sure to tune in next week. I don't want to be chased by this guy. I I really want to have my friend over here, my little random friend, be chased before I do because um, reasons. That's why. I'm gonna be smart and pull out my stone sword. I'm not actually gonna use my butter sword. I'm gonna call it butter sword. <laughs> oh my god! I can't. Can I think I might be able to sneak up behind this guy if I play this smart enough. No, never mind. Never mind. All right, I'm just gonna run away for a little bit. You know, I really want the guy. Okay, there needs to be a fight to go on before I try to go in and try to get any kills. So, if this guy, if these two guys would go ahead and fight right now, that'd be great. That would be fantastic. Uh, I think that's what gonna, I think that's what's gonna happen. So, you know, you go ahead, <laughs> do your thing, do your thing, man. Uh, you say, you know, people like this that say that say that uh, the other person hacks. I honestly like, they're stupid. Um. All right, so. Anything gonna happen? Any oh god, no, he's coming after me now. I don't have any <laughs> leggings either, so... Not g not a good position to be in. Uh, come on, come on, let's go together, let's go together. L let's try to find him. Alright, no, this guy's not doing anything, dude. Alright, oh. Oh, he's doing, he's doing some serious damage to that guy, I think. Nope, he's trying to kill me. <laughs> That's what I get from for trying to team with randoms, I guess. Oh well. No, I kind of deserve that, honestly. But if you did like this video, go ahead and leave a like. This was some like this was some serious like stupidness in this death match. Uh, poop niggas. Oh my god. But yeah, once again, go subscribe if you like this video. Uh, I'm Fan of Wheels, and I'll see you guys next time.